So my thought is, I mean, when we go back to Brinstar, I think we're gonna end up fighting, we're gonna be fighting Crane. Part of the map that doesn't feel right. <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry for triggering you, buddy. Um, so the, the super missile door was, the super missile door with the bird friend was right on the way to the boss room in Brinstar. So I'm pretty sure if we go back up there, which, well, I mean, we are, we're gonna end up fighting Crane. Which is gonna potentially be pretty scary. Craig was one of my worst boss fights in Super. Um, chair, please. Craig, Craig fucked my day up a lot. Wait, what am I doing here? There we go. So I don't know. Craig should be interesting. Might get butt blasted. I need some health. Big time. Oh, green guy! Oh, fucking green guy just knocked me all the way back down. Uh, see, I don't know. People say crate is easy. I mean, here's the thing. Part of it is, I I literally just played Super Metroid for the first time. Well, I played it a little when I was a kid. I didn't play it a lot when I was a kid. I sucked at it. Um, but my first complete Super Metroid playthrough was like... I mean, dude, it was like two months ago. <laughs> So, I, I sucked really bad at Craig. Craig fucked me up big time. I still have no energy. Uh, Alright, let's try and get back up to Brand Star in one piece here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it again because if I fall on the grapple part, we're gonna die. I have no energy. And I suck really bad at the grapple. Yep, see, just like that. See, I feel like that though, like that wasn't even my fault. Well, I mean it, it was. It was my fault. I just I feel like the, the grapple's so janky. Grapple just, it feels janky. It does it, it never feels good to grapple in Super for me. No, I mean, I, he really may not be that hard. I think part of it is just, that was my first Super Metroid boss, basically, I think. Well, no, because I had to fight, I had to fight Score Guy beforehand. But I really sucked at Metroid then. I mean, I'm still not great at Metroid now. Oh my god, I need to stop getting hit by these things. Uh, he really might not be that bad for me now. I, I might be able to beat him, no problem. Oh man, I'm so low on energy. So wait, where was... Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. Oh, there's a refill room right here. Beautiful. Give me all that juice. I need all of the juice. I forgot this was even here. Yeah, see, that's... I'm definitely never going to play Super Zero Mission, I don't think. Uh, and so, well, I decided... I'm gonna watch Rando play Zero Mission because I think, I mean, I, I was gonna play Zero Mission, but so the other hack I was looking at playing, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, it's called Retroid. And Retroid is a remake of Metroid 1 in the Super Metroid engine. So that's gonna be the other, uh, that's gonna be the other Metroid hack I wanna play during the, uh, the summer of ROM hacks here. So I figure if I watch if I watch Rando play Zero Mission, I'm gonna get like one Metroid One experience, and then when I play Retroid, it's gonna be kind of similar but a little bit different. So I feel like it'll kind of be a nice comparison to just watch him play one, and then I'll play Retroid. Retroid. <laughs> um, and then we'll kind of get to check both out. So, because I do want to watch Rando play it. Don't play Fusion. Okay, so we need to go over... Why did I never go in this door here? What is this door? Was this was this a great... This must have been a gray door before. Because this was definitely not... This door was not active. I'm sure I would have went in here. Because we went through this part. 
So this must be a new section. Oh, it's like a shortcut back. Huh. Interesting. Shortcut back to the save room in Brinstar. Cool fucking beans. <laughs> Dude. Super Zero Mission. There's that way. So I was looking at the hack list for... Uh, I was looking for the hack list at Super Metroid, and I, I read reviews about Zero Mission, because I, I thought, like, oh, that sounds cool, because I wanted to play Zero Mission anyway. And I read the, I read some of the reviews for Super Zero Mission, and it was just like, no, fuck that, no way. Because, uh, dude, everybody says it's so hard, and I've been hearing you and Larsa complain about it for, like, two days now while I've been playing this. So it just seems like something I'm not going to, I'm not going to mess with that. <laughs> like, Super Zero Mission would just chew me up and spit me out, I think. No survivors. Uh, there's no way. It's fantastic, but hard. Yeah, I'm sure it's good. I, I'm sure it's good. It's just, I, I don't have the skill set. I don't have the skill set required to, to complete that one, I don't think. And it would just be really frustrating. So, I won't be doing that one. But Retroid seems pretty cool. Like, that's still, it's supposed to be like vanilla difficulty, and it's just a remake of Metroid 1, which I've never played either. But it's a remake of Metroid 1 in Super. And. Because I feel like Metroid 1 is a little clunky. So, I, I would definitely be more open to playing Metroid 1 in the Super engine. What I would really love is, I want a remake of, oh shit. I want a remake of all the Metroids in the AM2R engine. <laughs> because the AM2R engine is still, in my opinion, the best 2D Metroid engine for sure. Like, I like this one with the changes they've made. The physics, the physics in this one are pretty good. Like the updated physics in, in Hyper Metroid are pretty nice. I like them a lot, but AM2R is still the shit in terms of, uh, oh yes, yeah, so this is totally what you're supposed to do. So the true path would be, okay, so that makes way more sense then. So yeah, you come back here with the supers, you get that switch and stuff, and then you can go up here and then you can fight, uh, and then you can fight Kraid. Yeah, like AM2R remakes of all the Metroid games. Like I want, I want super in the AM2R engine, and I want Metroid 1 in the AM2R engine. That would be sick. That would be real sick. AM2R is still my favorite, just because of the controls. Like, AM2R's controls are so fucking smooth. Oh yeah, see, this is where you normally do- we bomb jumped up here. But it's normally an ice beam section. Yeah, this is normally ice beam. Okay, interesting. Yes, yeah, so we really we were way out of sorts here. We were way off base when we made it up here. Music got quiet. Where are we? Weird. It's like a whole new area here. I wasn't expecting this much here. I was expecting just a little a little section, not like a whole big new area. I mean, I guess I don't really know how big this area actually is. It might not be that large. What was that? I saw something flashing right there, I think. Is that? Oh, this is like a little lift for me. Uh, Super Metroid in the Prime engine. I don't know. I've never played Prime, so I, I don't have an opinion on Prime one way or the other. We are still going to play Prime, too. I promise. I, I told you I would, and I'm gonna. Um... I might do that as like a little in between some of the ROM hacks we do. Like Prime 1. I'm definitely gonna play at least Prime 1. I don't know if I'll play the whole trilogy. We'll see how much I like it. I'm not a big first person shooter guy anymore. I really don't like shooter games that much. Like first person shit. But I'm definitely gonna give it a go. I can't. I, I fucked the lift up. No, I think I'm just gonna have to reset the room maybe. I could do that. Oh, damn it, then I fell anyway. Oh, shit. Fuck. I, this is all dicked up now because I screwed up the escalator section. Oh, there's a power bomb door right here.
Interesting. Well, I can just I can just bomb jump up from here. I'll just do that. Fuck it. Prime doesn't feel like a first-person shooter. I've heard other people say that too. It's still like it's more like a first-person adventure game than a shooter. I, I have heard that before. Um, I don't know. So I'm definitely I'm gonna play at least the first one. I can't promise I'll play them all, but I'm gonna at least check out Prime One and see what I think about it. Cause I, I've I've really been very underexposed to the Metroid series, so I want to play more of it for sure. Where the hell is this gonna take me? Bonking my head on the ceilings. The puzzles are really cool. Ah. See, there's still that switch over here on the left. I don't know how I'm supposed to get there. There's an item and a switch in there. Which I want to get. Oh my god, the water physics. Oh, get me out of there. Oh, can't do it. Fuck, I gotta grapple out of here, I think. Dude, Plock was weird. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. It is weird, though. I've, I I know nothing about that game. I didn't do a single thing about it until you started your... Uh, until I saw your stream the first time. And at some point, you explained it. Yeah, I had no... Grapple. Like, why? Like, see? Like that, right there. Like, why do you not just grab? Um, is there more grapple? I think there is. I just can't get the camera to go far enough over to the left that I can see it. Oh, there's definitely grapple over there. How am I supposed to get that? Like, I can't even get it lined up on the damn screen. Oh, that sucks. This is fucking room. I hate grapple sections. <laughs> I wonder if this is optional. I can just come back here with the gravity suit. Because, fuck, I'm so... Oh, it's just for supers. I might just come back here. I might come back here with Gravity Suit. I don't even know how bad I want those supers right now. That I want to deal with this grapple room. Because this is an extra garbage grapple room. Yeah, I might just wait. I might just wait. Dude, this is like, this is an extra garbage grapple room. I almost, I almost feel like I could use the fish to get out of here if they were a little bit higher. But yeah, this is gonna be a bitch and a half for me to pull off. I might just leave it alone. Oh, so close. I wonder if I can use the fish to get on the grapple. I wonder if I can jump out and grapple onto there. So close. Oh, there it is, it actually worked. I'll be damned actually fucking works. Well, okay, never mind. I guess we're gonna get the super missiles. Uh, I can't believe that actually worked. What's trolling me here? How do I want to get over there? How do I want to get over there? Wait a minute. What's in here? Hold on. Let me, let me see here. What is all this? I really want this super, so I'm worried that I'm not going to make it down there. I wish I could make the camera go down so I could see what's actually down there. Because I don't know what I'm going to be getting myself into. You know, I think I still may need gravity. I don't see how I'd be able to get that from here. I think one way or the other I need gravity suit to get those. Because I can't make that right there. So I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Let's see where the hell this takes me. Oh, fuck this guy again. Big boys. They're not as deadly now as they were the first time we came through here. First time through here, those big things were hitting me for like 60 damage a hit. They were fucking my whole world up. Not quite as bad now. That's for sure. I can kill them a lot easier too now that we have ice beam and stuff. Oh, this is gonna link up to that energy tank? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with that. Cool with that. Huh. Now we can go fight Crate, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna go fight Crate. I gotta I gotta get back. I gotta do that whole bomb jump segment again, which is gonna suck a little bit, but. Oh wait, this is a power bomb door. Fuck. So I gotta go around the long way again. 
I still feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Because there's all these power bomb doors. I mean, honestly, with the amount of super missile doors we found, I, we may not even supposed to be here yet. Were there super missile doors in the wrecked ship? Because now I actually can't remember. I wonder if, like, we should maybe go... I don't know. I want to go try and fight Crane. I want to at least try. Let's see if we can. If we can't, then I guess we're going to go back to the wrecked ship and maybe look around. Oh, fuck. These are all spikes. Um, if we can't fight Crane, then I guess we're going to go back to Norfair and... The... Um, the wrecked ship and look around. We still can't get into Meridia. And we're basically done with Norfair. So it's going to be like Criteria and Wreck Ship, I think, and that's pretty much it. Oh, they still hit pretty hard. <laughs> they still hit pretty fucking hard. So yeah, I don't know. We might, we may end up just doing sidetracking again. Or backtracking, whatever you want to call it. I would really think they want me to go fight Kraid now. But see, now I can't remember. I can't remember if the door going into the crate section was a power bomb door or if it was a super missile door. I know it was one of those two, but I can't remember which one it was. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go up. Oh, boy. Okay. Fuck off, lad. Was this it? No, one more over. Okay. Since, I don't because we still had to do... I feel like we're, we're still out of whack, because... Okay. Like, there were some... <coughs> there were some definite space jump things that we could have grabbed back there. And... We still had to do the infinite bomb jump to get into Kraid's section the other day. That's what makes me still think we're maybe not going to be able to fight him. Like, with this being vanilla, I can't... Oh, wait. Uh, we probably don't need to do... Okay, no. We totally are meant to fight Kraid. Because we had to do infinite bomb jump because we didn't have ice beam. Now that we have ice beam, we can just do this. Now, see, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. It's just a matter of actually getting this guy in the right spot. Oh, come on, Samus. Get up there before he thaws out. There we go. Oh, these guys are the worst. Um, so, yeah, I think we... No, I think we are meant to be here now. Because I forgot that there was dudes we could ice beam here. But now that we know that... Yeah, I think it's going to be great time. Now I got to not screw this part up. So, what did I do last time? I rolled down... I think I just rolled straight down, yeah. And I blew that up. And then I just... I could just roll across here. Then I had to do the bomb launch to get across here. Like that. Okay. This is actually going pretty well right now. Everything's fine. There, I wasn't actually... We, we actually did it first try that time. That wasn't bad at all. So now we need to let out Bird Friend to open this for us. And then Bird Friend is going to hopefully get me in here. So wait, are you... Okay, yeah, Super Missile Door. Okay. So, yeah, I think it's gonna, I think it's crate time. Pretty sure it's actually crate time. Uh, we definitely want to go to the save room first. <laughs> oh, and you know what? So, I wonder what we're going to get after we beat crate. Because there's an item in the crate tunnel after his room. Oh, yeah, they're giving us refills and everything. It's definitely fucking crate time. Well, guys, hold on to your butts. See how bad I get my ass kicked here. Whew. Okay. Let's go do it. Yeah, I'm curious what Kraid's gonna give us. There's no way it's just gonna be like a, a missile tank or something, right? Like, Kraid's gonna be some real shit. We gotta get like a new... 
Like, maybe powers off a crate? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking too, Sparky. Oh, yep, here's a mini crate. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Oh, no, this is a regular missile door. It fucks with- I still- the regular missile doors... Fuck, this is it. Where's Kraid? <laughs> Here he is. Fuck you, Kraid. Leave me be, lad. Don't knock me in the spikes, dude. How did I not get a hit there? Excuse me? Okay. You know what, Crane? You know what, Crane? Crane. Dude, you're fucking dicking me over heavy here, lad. Open that mouth up for some supers. Oh my god, I keep getting fucking knocked into all this garbage. Open up. Oh, wait. Oh, he's dead? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Uh, that wasn't even that bad. All right. Well, so hopefully power bombs. Wait, what the fuck is that? Space jump. Space jump. Okay. Okay. Uh The whole ground is spikes, there's no suits, and there's water in the in the super zero mission fight. Ugh. Okay, so the good news is, yeah, but okay, the the space jump is like an AM2R, so you can just spam the shit out of the space jump, which is fucking fantastic. Um Wow, so now that we've space jump, Fuck, what do I even want to do with this now that I have space jump? Um... Who just cheered? Wow. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Ranta's going... He's fucking flush with the bits lately. He's going ham. Uh, okay. So... Space jump, I could go back... Space jump works in water, right? Does it... Oh, yeah, that's right. You did say that, didn't you? Um, does space jump work in water without gravity suit? Or no? Because if it does work, we can go back and get another super missile tank that we saw on the way to go fight Kraid. I don't know if I want to go all the way back there, though. It's a long way to go. <laughs> Sparky. So now that we've space jump, like, where do I want to go? Oh, you know what? There was... Oh, what am I doing? Oh, you know what? Well, so with space jump, we could go back to Norfair now. There's two rooms in Norfair that we needed the space jump for we could go back to. Um, but there was a gray door... There was a gray door right over here on the way back from Kraid. That I'm assuming we can get into now, and that's probably gonna lead us up to that switch over here, like right right below me in that unexplored section. So let's go check that first. Wait, this is all different now. There's a whole different section here now. What? <laughs> the map changed. Yeah, the map changed. And I'm getting fucking wrecked here by everything. Is there anything even down here that I want? Maybe. There's gotta be something here, right? Really, there's not a single fucking thing down here in this little corner, huh? Uh... Okay. Dude, Rando, you are, if you ever play this... You're gonna love the the space jump in this. It's just like AM2R. It works beautifully. <laughs> no no garbage at all. Just fucking press the button and space jump. So good. 
Dude, Super Metro Space Jump fucked my whole life up, for sure. Uh, I was so bad at the Space Jump and Super. This guy would leave me the hell alone here. Oh my god. Did that guy really just knock me all the way down in here? Now I can't get out. Oh, that one ceiling boy. There we go. So I'm hoping this door is now... Yep, okay, this door is now active. So now we can go get a switch, I'm thinking. It looks like it's gonna lead me over to the switch anyway. It's, it's, I mean, it's a timing thing. It's just the timing is so tight. It feels so janky. Yeah, right, that's how I feel. There's no reason for it to be that way. Like, it, it's totally doable. It's just a weird, it, it's just frustrating as fuck. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Um, see, like, this section would be garbage with Super Metroid Space Jump. Like, all that right there, would that would take me, like, half an hour. Okay, switch five. Unlocked. Anything hiding up here? So now that we've space jumped, do we go back to Norfair? What are we thinking here, lads? What would be an easy way to even get back over there? It's really not that far. I could actually get over there pretty easily. Um, because there were those two rooms in Norfair that we needed. Remember that I was trying to do the bomb jump in and I couldn't get anywhere? Uh, we could probably do those. And maybe do something. I mean, there were, there were super missile doors in Brinstar. Or not in Brinstar. Well, I mean in Criteria, sorry. There were super missile doors in Criteria. I think we could go to Meridia now. Um, I think we could go to Meridia also. Or no, Meridia was a power bomb door, I think. So, I guess Norfair? I kinda wanna look around Criteria a little bit though. I'm, I'm gonna go look around Criteria. Just cause I, I can't remember, I know there were more super bomb or super missile doors. I think we might still be missing some stuff. Can I go through here? Yeah. Yeah, this was the way down to Criteria. Um, so I know there was stuff I was missing here that we needed supers for. All right. And then I guess we'll, we'll, we will go back to Norfair. Uh, maybe tonight, we'll see. Don't know if I'm going to go quite as long as I did yesterday. <laughs> we, we played a lot of Metroid yesterday. Uh, was there anything else? Oh, you know what? There was. Over here, there was that space jump. So this is normally how we'd be getting the spacer, I think. Yeah, now we'd be able to get up here and get the spacer. But even... Oh, you know, we can go hit that switch by our ship. And we can go get this item over here, whatever this was, in the middle. Um, oh, and this, I think, above wreck ship. Yeah, we can get both these items above wreck ship, too. Okay. See, now I feel like it's starting to flow better, actually. Uh, I feel like the flow is improved. Let me see. What, there was something else up here, though. I'm just really curious. There was some other shit up here. We couldn't get up here without space jump before to this side. I think we pretty much got what we needed up here, though, because this was Spazer. And we got Spazer. We've had Spazer for a fucking hot minute already. So... I don't know how much we're really gonna end up doing up here, but I just want to fill this out just for... Yeah, I think this is it. Nothing else up here for us right now. But we can go over and get... Yeah, there's a couple things we need to get. Two items on the way to wreck ship. The item right there. Then I guess back to Norfair, I think. I still don't think we can get into Meridia. So, wait, where am I going again? 
Okay, we're gonna go down. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go down. We'll kind of do all, we'll, we'll do like some cleanup here, pick up some shit on the map that we that we haven't been able to get to in a while. Maybe some of this, I doubt any of these, they're probably all just gonna be like missile tanks and stuff. Yeah, yeah, there was. That's what, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. That was one that I kept trying to bomb jump up and I kept getting fucked up. With all the, with like the dragon heads poking out of the walls. We're definitely gonna go back there. I just want to check out, yeah, no, we're totally going back there. I just want to check out, I, there's a couple things in Criteria we can get now. Now that we have space jump. But we are absolutely going back there in just a moment. Uh, as soon as I, as soon as I pick up all this side shit in Criteria, we're gonna go back to Norfair and check out what all that was. I'm just curious what all this was. It's probably just, yeah, it's just missile tanks, but I mean, still. So are we maybe gonna end up fighting Ridley tonight? Cause it seems like that's gonna lead to Ridley. Isn't Ridley supposed to be the last boss? It just seems weird. It seems like we're like out of order. Yeah, that's the, the we either need power bombs or we need the spring ball if we're gonna get into um, Meridia. The one Meridia door was a lot of hacks have right really early. Yeah, I remember fighting Ridley in like Lower Norfair at the very, not the very end, but pretty far in. Um, Cause I don't think we did that until we had Gravity Suit, right? We didn't go to Ridley, yeah, until we had Gravity Suit, if I remember correctly. Okay, we can get the switch above Samus' ship. Two items on the way to wreck ship. Uh, space jump. Ah, the space jump's so good and hyper. It works so fucking well. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I've only seen a couple speed boost sections. Uh, not very many. I can't even think of where they were. Oh, there was there was one speed booster section to get power bombs. I remember that. So now we can finally get this damn switch up here. Oh, but there's more up here. Is there anything else up here? No. Okay. Well, let's go get the switch. Hopefully I have what I need. There we go. Another gate unlocked. Can I go through here? Oh, yeah. Oh, but this is like, oh, what? So that's a reserve tank, right? But I can't get through here without speed booster. Oh, that's weird. All right, Larsic. I'll see you later, man. Okay, so yeah, we can't get the reserve tank yet. Not without speed boost. Let's go get those items at the wrecked ship. Or on the way to the wrecked ship, I should say. And then, uh... Yeah, I guess we're gonna go back to Norfair. We might be fighting Ridley tonight. Like, pretty soon, potentially. Which I don't... I feel like I'm not prepared enough. <laughs> I really feel unprepared. Oh wait, was this speed booster? Fuck, yeah it was. Okay, we might be able to get the other one though. Forgot about that. Spring ball next, you might be right. Maybe like spring ball after Ridley to get into Meridia and then in Meridia we get like gravity and speed boost. Wait, where's the item? Where the fuck's the item? I don't understand. I mean, I see it marked here. I don't see any way to get to it, though. Hmm. 
no idea. <coughs> hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what they want me to do here. Like, maybe Shine Spark up through or something? I, I have no idea how they want me to get that. I kind of want to double check the wreck ship. I mean, we're already here. You know what I mean? We're already here. Uh, I'm just curious if Space Jump will get me anywhere else in here. Might as well look real fast. No, because that was all water. That was all water over there. We're not going to be able to do that. Yeah, okay, never mind. Let, let, let's go back to Norfair. I don't think that's going to make... I don't think there's anything here we can do. Pretty sure I'm just wasting my time. Oh, damn it, I'm still stuck in here. Oh, wait, or am I? No, Samus, jump out. I don't want to have to go through the water. Jump out! Oh, Samus, please! Jump out! I don't think I can. <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to go out the shitty way. Um, okay, so I guess back to Norfair it is. Cause there's still there's still no way into Meridia. So basically Norfair or bust, I think. And hopefully now with the space jump, we can get some new stuff. I think it's gonna be Ridley time. Like, real soon. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know. That's what's kinda interesting about this. It's almost like playing a randomizer because we're playing it blind. Like, we have no clue really what's coming up next. So it's just gonna be a, it's just gonna be a shit show. <laughs> it's just gonna be a shit show. The worst part is, I don't like that, uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that the item rooms stay marked. So all the items that we've gotten are still marked on the map. So I can't remember where we've been and where we haven't been. Because I know there were a couple places where I needed power bombs to get more power bombs. And I can't remember where the fuck they were now. It's going to be a pain in the ass to backtrack around and try and find them. Alright, so back to Norfair. Just need to head over. Wait, am I going the right way? Do I want to go up here? No, I don't want to go up here. What am I doing? Well, you know, we can take a detour and refill with the ship. This isn't the worst way to go. We'll still get there. I can refill my energy and save again. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, your guess is better than mine. I'm not enough of a Metroid Pro to know where I need to be at all times. So, in terms of... In terms of where we're going next, I mean, I I don't know, because this Ridley could have anything, so. But I am pretty sure that it's going to be Ridley. I'm pretty sure Ridley has to be our next stop. I just wonder if it's Ridley and then back to the wrecked ship, or it's Ridley and then Meridia. That's kind of where I'm where I'm curious right now. Oh, yeah, we don't have a screw attack. Is that the only beam we're missing is plasma? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I totally forgot about plasma beam. <laughs> I, I didn't even think about that. I still can't get this either. This was a missile tank that I can't get until I get the spider ball. I keep calling it spider ball. Uh, fucking... Uh, spring ball. It's gonna be spider ball in my brain forever now, unfortunately. It's too late. The damage is done. I've been, I've been talking about spider ball since yesterday. And I'm just gonna keep saying it that way. Oh, man. Okay, hold on here. Let me, let me sip. I feel like I can't drink enough water today.
We're still missing a buttload of gates too. I think we have to get, I think the end goal of this game is to get all of the gates, as far as I know. Hi, Pupper. What you doing? You gonna behave? Or you gonna be rowdy? Oh, you look like you wanna be rowdy. <laughs> you look like you wanna be pretty rowdy right now. Uh, okay, at least now we can take the quick way over. Because we have the space jump. So this hopefully shouldn't bullshit us too, too bad. Yeah, we should be able to move pretty quick through here with space jump. And supers. We should cut down on the amount of you know, sidetracking we have to do for sure. Uh, I love space jump when it's like this. When, it, when you can just press the button and it happens and there's no timing, it's so much nicer. I should probably save here just, just to be safe. You think spring here, gravity and meridia. <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna get to find out. We're gonna find out pretty soon here because I, I, I think we're gonna end up fighting Ridley tonight. I think I'm, we're, we're getting to like the three hour mark. I think what we'll probably try and do is we'll get up there. We'll deal with Ridley. Uh, and then I might call it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how I'm feeling. But I definitely want to at least get up there and fight Ridley. At the very least. See, I, I need to know what the next item's going to be. Or <laughs> I won't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> I'll be tossing a turn and wondering what's going to be in store for me tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this works. Okay. Oh, what was over here? There were a couple doors here that I missed over in this. Oh, there was all this shit too. Dude, you know what? I think before we go fight Ridley, I forgot about all this. See, I think we should go... Dude, because there's all... Do you remember all these big-ass rooms over here? I think we need to go there before we go try and fight Ridley, actually. I forgot all about this section. Because this also seems to link up with Meridia somehow. I think I should go there first. In the bottom part. Versus trying to go up here and fight Ridley. I think we should go over there and see if we get cock blocked or not. That's, it feels really early for Ridley. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I think I want to check that first, though. I totally forgot about that whole section over there. And now I now I want to see what's over there before fucking little green guy knocked me in the damn lava. <laughs> Such a little cocksucker. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a better choice. I think we should go there first. For sure. Yeah, before we even think about going up to see Ridley, I think we go over this way first and see what's in store for us here. I mean, it's not far at all. It's basically right here. Yeah, let, let's go do that first. Uh, maybe I should save down below. <clears throat> uh, ah, fuck it. Yeah, we're still missing some stuff here in Norfair. Oh yeah, there was still that switch. That door, I can't remember what the deal was with this door. I don't know, we'll, we'll just go until we get stuck. No point just sitting here overthinking it, we gotta just go and see, see what's what. <laughs> we can sit here and talk about it all day, but we're not gonna know until we just do it. So where am I headed? I'm just gonna head straight, it looks like straight over basically, okay. Oh, green guys. Fuck off. Oh, is this powerbomb door? Yeah, this is powerbomb door. Shit. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to take kind of a long way around. Oh, no, this room again. Well, okay, this room's really not that bad, actually. It's fine. I mean, go in reverse through, it's gonna be even easier. I don't have to worry about the acid. We get a refill here, too. Might as well juice up. 
All right, well, let's see what we have in store for ourselves over here. Oh, that's right, I keep forgetting. I, I, I want to think like the, I have screw attack, but it's just space jump. <laughs> it just looks so similar. So where am I in relation to where I want to go? So I want to go straight up. item in here too that I could get well I mean if this if this doesn't pan out then I guess oh we needed spider ball spider ball god damn we need spring ball um I mean, if this doesn't pan out then I think we go try and deal with Ridley I guess I think I think that's really I think that's it I don't know what else we could do So we'll just have to wait and see. You know, it just, we, we really have no fucking idea what we're doing. <laughs> we're just going for it. We end up where we end up. But there's got to be something over here. There's no way there's just straight nothing. I definitely refuse to believe that. I'm just curious what the hell it's going to be. Yeah, I, dude, I can't stop calling it Spider Ball now. <laughs> Someone's gonna be really mad, like, oh, this guy, this fucking guy doesn't even know the difference between Spider Ball and Spring Ball. <laughs> it's stuck in my brain from AM2R, and now I just keep saying it. The damage has already been done. Now it's just always gonna be Spider Ball. Um, okay, so, yeah, we had a door in here. Then we have this huge section over here. And that may end up taking us to Meridia somehow. So this might get pretty crazy here. I don't really know what, what we're in store for at this point. Yeah, we tried to bomb jump up here last time. Well, I mean, we did. What was it? We couldn't get, I think this was a super missile door, wasn't it? Oh, wait, no, this was just a gray door. Okay, shit. Well, I hope the other one wasn't a gray door as well. Maybe we still can't get through here. See, well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's check this side. Uh, yeah, this was the one. This is definitely a space jump section. We were not supposed to be trying to bomb jump in here. Oh, fuck off, floaty guys. What do we have in here? Floaty guys are dicking me up big time. All right, so nothing over this way. Dude, this guy is fucking... These are just perfectly placed to troll the shit out of you. All right, let's see. Where are we at? Oh, I hear the music. I hear the music. This makes me think item room. Oh, what is it? Oh, dude, it's gotta be spring ball. It's gotta be spring ball. Wait, what's all this up here, though? Because look at this section here, right? Oh, wait, can I not get through here? Shit. So we need Spring Ball to get through here at the very least. Well, let's see what's up here. I can't get through there right now. Maybe if I go around? So wait, this is gonna take me over to Meridia, it says. Yeah, this is the passageway to Meridia. Oh, man. You think up and over and spring to get back? Well, let's let's try it. So you're just saying go for it. Up, oh, yep, you were right. There it is. Okay, spring ball. Interesting. Wow, spring ball jump is fucking. Wait, what? I still don't understand how I'm supposed to do this with Spring Ball. Um, oh, wait. Oh, man. The mash jump really isn't working that well for me. I know you said just mash the shit out of jump, but... I still get stuck. I 
Oh, man, this sucks. Okay, wait. What do I do here? Do I just hold it? Oh, you just hold it. You can actually just hold it, and it'll get you over there. Okay. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, and I can't go this way yet. <sighs> so, do we go into Meridia? I... Maybe. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going on in Meridia. Oh, uh, this is gonna... Nope. Okay. But... So we could get to Meridia from Criteria now. We do have that option. Um, we could take that other door in Criteria and go to Meridia. So maybe we should go to Meridia. Yeah, right. Oh wait, in Norfair? What room in Norfolk did we need did we need that for? I don't remember. There was one here that we needed that for? I was thinking back in Criteria to get over to Meridia. Yeah, I see. I think we should try and do as much as we can before we even think about going to going to fight Ridley. So my thought would be, now that we have the ball, now that we have the ball, we can go to at least part of Meridia from Criteria. So my thought would be. Oh, you know what? There was a section we could use Spring Ball for. It was... Oh, it was to get that switch. We could go get the switch in Norfair. It's, it was way up over here. But we could get that now that we have Spring Ball. Maybe we should go do that while we're here. Yeah, well, see, that's kind of that's why I'm thinking, like... I feel like even though we could probably make it further to Ridley with the Space Jump... I feel like we're not going to be able to actually go fight Ridley. That's why I think we should go to Meridia. Like, we'll go, uh... Wait, where am I going? I need to go up and over. Oh, I can get that thing with the, with the spring ball now up here. Yeah, so my thought is... My thought is Meridia next. At least as much of it as we can do. We can go to some of it from Norfair, so I'm gonna try and get over there. Yeah, what time is it? It's not. It's a little after eight. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. I, I want to get into Meridian and see what's going on. There we go. Missiles. Oh, this is power bomb door. Shit. Oh, I gotta go through the shitty door again. <laughs> gotta go through the stupid acid door. All right. We have to get some health here before we go in there. Oh, perfect. Hand that health over, friendos. Yeah, so I think we'll do... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go to Meridia before we even think about going to deal with Ridley up there. I think that, that seems like a good course of action. Yeah, I mean, we haven't been to Meridia at all yet. We finally have access to Meridia with the Spring Ball. I feel like that's where they want me to go, for sure. That's that's what makes the most sense to me right now. I mean, I'm by no means a Metroid expert. But yeah, I would think, I would think they'd want me to go to Meridia now as well. That makes the most sense to me. With what we just got. And then maybe there we can get, like, Gravity Suit and finally get some Power Bombs or something.
Chubby, we still have no, we still don't have any power bombs, unfortunately. Uh, I am gonna, I'm gonna go all the way up there. I wanna get, I wanna get that switch while we're here, because otherwise I'm gonna forget about it if we don't do it now. There was that spring ball section up here that we could finally do, and we can get our hands on that. I don't even know what the switch is gonna open up. I would think we might need that switch to even go somewhere in Meridia, potentially. So we might as well. Oh, fuck, fuck this room. Um, we may need it anyway, so we might as well just do it now, because we're already basically here. Oh, I want, I want screw attack. Space jump is so much nicer once you have screw attack. You don't gotta worry about all these little shits bonking you, knocking you out. Oh, where was that? Okay, we're pretty close. It'd be way easier to get back up there with space jump too. We didn't have that before, so it made this shit a lot more difficult. So, yeah, we had to do the fucking grapple shit and the, bleh. the hyper. Yeah, I think that's the goal too. Eventually, we are gonna need every single switch. I think you're right. At least to do most of Torian. There's some of Torian. Oh, you know what? We can actually go back to Torian. There was a missile door in Torian on the one side. We can actually go back there. They do open areas up too, though. Like, actually, we couldn't have gotten into the sunken ship without hitting a certain switch, Sparky. I don't know if you noticed, but the entrance to the, the sunken ship, or the wrecked ship, it was actually, the, the door was shut with one of the numbered gates. So it is, it's, it's kind of both. You need them for Torian, but they also open other things up as well, is my understanding. But I'm glad you said Torian, because that reminded me that I'm pretty sure now that we have supers... I mean, do you remember, we went back to Torian yesterday when we were trying to figure out where we needed to go. I'm pretty sure we got stopped by a super missile door. So we could potentially get something in Torian as well. Oh, fuck. This is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna fucking suck. Um, yeah, we could potentially get something in Torian. I don't know how much is there, but we should probably at least give it a go. Get the switch first, though. Oh no! Get me up there! Get me! Get me up there! Why am I not going in? There we go. The door above a room in Brinstar wasn't on the map. Okay. Well, well, that's. I'm sure we're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking at some point because needing to find all the switches. Uh, needing to find all the switches is gonna make this fucking... We're gonna be doing tons of backtracking, I'm pretty sure. So... We'll just have to find them. We'll find them eventually. Uh... Whoops. There we go. Okay. So there's the switch gone. That's good. Okay, now I wanna go to Meridia. Uh, I guess Torian's kind of on the way, though. Oh, fuck off. Um, Torian's basically on the way to Meridia. We should probably just check it on the way. And save myself some time. Because otherwise I'm going to forget about it. If I have to go back later. Uh, yeah, I'm interested in Meridia as well. But so when we leave here... When we leave here... Oh, I think this one... I think I need a gravity for that one. <laughs> I hope it doesn't put gravity suit in Meridia. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't. That would be very not nice. I would not be a happy camper. <laughs> I would... That would suck for me real bad. I would get fucking wrecked. I think. That'd be real bad. All right. All right, so I think the game plan is we're gonna check Torian real quick. We're gonna go back to Meridia. I basically just wanna try and hit a save room in Meridia and then we'll pick up with Meridia tomorrow.
Let's go back and save, and then go back to Criteria, and then hit up Torian. So I don't know. I mean, now that we're now that we're further in, I still wouldn't say this is vanilla difficulty. I'll say that much. Uh, this does not feel like a vanilla Metroid game. I still think it's harder than Super. It's definitely harder than Super, actually. I wouldn't say it's super. It's not like punishingly hard, at least not yet. But it's definitely not vanilla, either. Um, definitely not vanilla. Hi, Pupper. What are you doing? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's kind of intentional, though, because it's 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 billed as a. Very non-linear hack. So, I think that's actually intentional. It's supposed to be, you're supposed to kind of be able to have a lot of options. So, I don't know. Yeah, I no, you're definitely, if, if you get confused, yeah, because you, you are by far more experienced in Super Metroid than I am. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can basically hit up Torian right on the way. Because we can go, here's Torian, and then over here is the Meridia door. So we might as well just do Torian now. We'll do all that shit. Oh, see right here, Spark, here's a good example. So this, that right here was the number one, that was the number one gate. So they aren't just in Torian necessarily, there are places that the gates open in the regular world too. There hasn't been a ton of them, but there's been a few. Am I going the right way? Oh, I can get the spring ball item here, too. That missile tank. Might as well get it, it's on the way. Uh, what? How did I fall through? I was even holding the damn button. I don't understand. There we go. I don't know why it worked that time and not the other time, but okay. Yes, yeah, that's what I, I feel like we are on the right track because I feel like Meridia is the, is the ticket because they're basically putting, and see, I almost feel like they want me to go check out Torian too because they're putting it all right here in front of me on the way. Like, I feel like this is intentional. I feel like the flow has improved as we've gotten further in. Um, it's definitely getting better. Because Meridia is really the only place we haven't been to yet. Like, we're done with Norfair. We're basically done with Brinstar. Well, I mean, we have a little bit of Norfair, but not a lot. And then just basically Meridia. That's it. Oh, and I guess some of the, some of the wrecked ships still. Okay, so from here... Yeah, let me check Torian. I'm pretty sure there was a super missile door down here that we can get to now. Like, 95% sure. Because something stopped us here the other day. When we came back here, when we were trying to figure out where to go next, and look, when, when, like we were looking for the wrecked ship, there was something over to the left here that got me. I'm pretty sure it was super missiles. I'm going to save here real quick, though, just in case. So I think there may be something here. Isn't there a boss here, too? Yeah, down at the very bottom. But see, it looks like, yeah, see, I think that's a super missile door to the left. I think that's a super missile door to the left, and that's going to lead us to a dead end with an item in it, I think. Maybe. I don't know, it's something. I like the spooky music down here. Give me some health, maybe, huh? Ah, uh, give me all that juice. There we are. Okay. Please be a super missile door. Whoops. So excited I ran right into him. Please be supers. Yeah, it is a super door. Okay. There we go. We'll see. So now we got something new. I'm not really sure what. Oh, what's that? Uh, wait, is that power bomb? Yeah, fuck. We got trolled. <laughs> we got trolled. Son of a bitch. Got my hopes up. 
Oh, now I gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we got trolled. Unfortunate. Unless there's something here. No. Okay, well. So, Torian still busts. Okay, well, let's go to Meridia. I was really hoping there'd be something here. A little disappointed. I, I kind of got myself hyped up. <laughs> I was expecting something neat. Oh, well. And we still, we made a ton of progress today, really. We got two bosses down. Uh, a bunch of new items. Like, we're, we're making, I wonder if we can even maybe finish this tomorrow. Depending on how things go. We still, the problem is we gotta go find all those damn switches again. That's gonna be a bitch and a half. Cause I only have like, I think I have five of them. So we need like 10 more. Uh, so that's probably gonna be the hardest part is just finding all the damn switches again. Okay. Oh, see here was another gate. Yeah, this was number one gate as well. So there are a few places where you need to hit the switches. When does Rando go live? I don't know. I'm hoping I'll be, it's, I, I basically just want to get to Meridian tonight and then I think I'm gonna call it. Cause I do want to watch him play Zero, so. He usually starts like nine. I don't know though. Oh, kind of get through this way. Oh no, did I just troll the fuck out of myself? Oh, I can just go through here. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, I guess it's a lot later for you than it is for me. See, even for me though, like I, I, I'm an old man now. I go to bed so damn early. Like most nights I'm asleep by 10. So usually by the time I'm done streaming, like Rando's getting started. And then I usually watch a little bit of Rando like downstairs and then I, I usually come up and I, I go to bed and I just watch Rando on my phone. Okay, so here's the Meridia door. Um, and then I'll usually, I'll manage to watch like an hour of Rando tops then I usually fall asleep. Uh, just don't have the staying power that I used to. Oh, please tell me I can get through here. Oh, okay. It was like, I can't remember how long ago it was. It, it was, I mean, I still lived at home with my parents. Uh, it's probably like a good five, six years ago now. But like, I, I did the thing where like, I was staying up so late that I'd be super tired after I got home from work. And I would, uh, oh, see, there's gotta be something here. There's a switch here and two items, potentially. But we also don't have gravity still, so I wonder how far we can actually get here. Um, I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Oh, fuck Meridia. <laughs> Oh God, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this without gravity? How am I gonna do this without gravity? But anyway, so I would come home from work and I'd be so tired when I got home from work, I would uh, I'd usually end up taking a nap when I got home from work, but then it would turn into like, I'd, I'd end up like napping later and later and I'd end up just basically sleeping when I got home from work. So I would come home from work and sleep from like 4.30 until like midnight. And then I would stay up all night and then go to work and then come home and sleep again. Uh, yeah, we can definitely be here. I don't know how much we can do here. Uh, I think, okay, I think I'm just gonna stop here. We're at like three and a half. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop here. Cause then we can still, I can still catch some of Rando tonight. I don't know what he's planning on starting, but probably pretty soon. So I'm gonna call it here for tonight. Uh, we'll be back, what's today, Monday? Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Same time as always. So tomorrow we're gonna explore Meridia, at least some of it, and see where all we end up. But, uh, all right, lads. So I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how much this we have left. And then we still got a whole bunch of ROM hacks in the pipeline. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun couple weeks, I think. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Uh, I think we picked up a follower or two today. So I appreciate that as well. A big ups to Rando for the, for the 500 bits. 
<laughs> and uh, okay, I think I think that's all the shout outs that need to be done for tonight. So, all right, I will see you dudes back here tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you again for watching, and see ya.